What are you doing down there? <laughs> There's Farmer Bodie exercising her civic duty. Can you help me when you're done? Sure. Yeah. Make, make the right choice. It was approved. You were? Yep. Me too. You're finished? Yep. Okay. A lot of them. Yes. <laughs> What? I'm going to get a shot of that song. Okay. I don't get it. You get it? Okay. Okay. All right. I now voted, you... but I didn't get a sticker. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Exo Man, and I wanted to speak briefly about the um, ID requirement for voting or the lack of an ID requirement for voting as it is in my state, North Carolina, you do not need an ID to vote. And that's true in, in, in a number of states. And I think that is absolutely appalling. Um, I, you know, there is, there is the question that we pose to each other that side and this side, okay? So the, the question, here are the two questions. One would be a question that someone would ask of me from the other side. What is it exactly that motivates you? Why do you insist on people having IDs to vote? A legal ID or a driver's license? And my question to them would be the opposite, the same, basically. What is it what is your motivation? Why specifically do you want there to be no ID requirement for these for anybody to vote? Why? Now, I know the answer to both of those questions. The answer that I would give is plain and simple. Is it because I, it, they would ask, is it because you're a racist? Well, that's just stupid, isn't it? That's just the race baiting. That's just the race card. That's, I'm just, I, everyone is getting tired of that. I think just about everybody's seen and heard enough of that. Okay, no, it's not because I'm a racist. It's racist. It's because I think that the, the right to vote is 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 absolutely sacred, and it is hugely important that that we that the person, the individual, is given the right to vote, an actual identifiable human citizen. Okay. So you need to prove that you're that actual individual citizen and not somebody from a foreign country or traveling in America or an illegal alien or some other person or a, a dead person or a ghost, you know? I mean, anybody can walk in and vote for a dead person who's recently deceased and their name has not yet been purged from the polls. It happens all the time. Stop with the nonsense of saying it doesn't happen. If you make something available, people are going to avail themselves of it. They're going to do it. You create a loophole, people will move through it, okay? So that's, I think, protecting this sacred right is, is the reason I want an ID required. We can go on and on for hours about what IDs are required for. They're required for virtually everything, starting with checking a book out in a public library. Why? because you might steal the book. Same goes for the vote. You might steal a vote and people will do it. They will steal books and they will steal votes. So we make them jump through, loop, through, through hoops. You have to do that. You have to protect sacred things. So my question then to the other side, to the liberal Democrats is, why don't you want an ID to be, why don't you want people to prove who they are to vote? Certainly, certainly, now listen, if it were the conservatives who couldn't get their act together and managed to put an ID in their wallet or purse, you would most certainly require an ID to vote, wouldn't you? If I, as a conservative, could not find my way, and, and millions of other like, or thousands of others like me, couldn't figure out how to get an ID, get a, to, to get our lives in order enough to get an ID. If that were the case, if conservatives were like that, you would definitely want to, re to require us to have IDs. That's, that's just human nature. That's just what you would do. You know it, we all know it. 
it's, it's just political. It's a political game and it's nonsense. It, I, think that, I think that every self-respecting American citizen should say, yes, regardless of my politics, I think it is prudent. I think it is wise to say, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, you must prove your identity before you're given the sacred right to vote. So, I'm just, I, I, like I say, I'm just, I'm kind of done with the politics. Let's, let's get back to common sense. Common sense dictates that something so precious should, you should, should bear some responsibility, right? So now, who, the, the, I would ask them again, who, what, what is your specific motivation for wanting there to be an ID requirement? No ID requirement. Who, what what people are you protecting? Are you protecting poor people? Are you really protecting them? Are you is do you really care about them, or is it that you've been putting them on government sus, substance or sustenance for generations? Right? Though you've been buying those people's votes for generations, and you've kept them impoverished by buying their votes. You've kept them on the government cheese. You've been giving them everything that their basic needs, housing and food, and they can't find their way off the plantation. So they're gonna to continue to vote for you, but they can't get their acts together because you have them so impoverished and so enchained that they can't manage to figure out how to get a driver's license or a state ID card. And that's what you need them to have that's what they should have to vote. So you don't want them to have to have that because you want them to keep voting. So you've created this world where you've got this impoverished voting mass, this block of people who's, who basically just don't have their lives together. I was, I was in that strata when I, was, when I was a child. They don't have their lives together and you've created that monster but you, so you've got to keep making the laws more and more, more lax because you've dumbed these people down and you've put them in a, in a position where they just don't have their lives together. And I personally think they should have their lives together and they would if they weren't on the government system, right? If they weren't just, they're, 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 they are the, the Democrat voting base, okay? the impoverished and the illegals and every, everybody that the, the Democrats want to hand the money to to get the votes. That's what it is. That's what it's all about. And I'm tired of the rationale. And, and, and it's the ultimate insult, adding insult to injury to say, well, you're a racist. No, I'm not. No, we're not. We are not racist. We're Americans and we're citizens and we're concerned people and we believe in this country and we believe in law the rule of law. Let's, let's get it back together and let's get back to common sense. That's how I feel about it. You're a racist. I'm not a racist. You're a racist. You're a race baiter. You're an, you're an idiot to use that logic and to use that rationale. We're not, we're not trying to disenfranchise a group of people. We want to help a, pe a group of, th that group of people get their act together. You don't. You people don't. You just want their votes. Thanks for watching, everyone.